Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqib. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Safriya Palace today. The Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, Dr. Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Uthaymeen. His Majesty welcomed Dr. Al Uthaymeen and congratulated him on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the funding of the OIC, hailing the notable achievements made by the organization as well as the efforts exerted by the Secretary General which elevated its working mechanisms, developed its performance, and strengthened cooperation between Islamic countries in various economic, cultural, scientific, and religious fields. His Majesty underscored the role of the OIC in serving the Islamic nation's issues, strengthening solidarity among member states, coordinating their positions and uniting their efforts, and defending the true image of the true Islamic religion and its teachings that are based on tolerance and moderation. His Majesty the King highlighted Bahrain's backing and support of the OIC and its commitment to its noble principles in order for it to carry out its role in promoting joint Islamic action that shall achieve its goals and serve the interests of its member states. Both sides also reviewed the cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the OIC, in addition to discussing a number of issues of concern to the Islamic nation along with regional issues. Dr. Yusuf bin Ahmed Al-Uthaymeen expressed sincere appreciation for His Majesty's hospitality and the pivotal role of Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, and the Kingdom's important contribution in serving Islamic issues. Dr. Arthaymin also lauded Bahrain's humanitarian initiatives in promoting the values of tolerance, moderation, and building bridges of communication and rapprochement between the followers of different religions and cultures. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 1 of 2020 to establish the National Implementation Follow-up Committee for the National Action Plans on Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency. The committee will comprise the President of Sustainable Energy Authority as President of the Committee, the CEO of the National Oil and Gas Authority representing NOGA, the CEO of the Supreme Council for the Environment, representing SCE. The Deputy CEO of Planning and Projects, representing Electricity and Water Authority. The Assistant Undersecretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade, representing the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The Assistant Undersecretary for Industrial Development, representing the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The Assistant Undersecretary for Air Transport and Aviation Safety and Security, representing the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication. The Assistant Undersecretary for Technical Services, representing the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning. The Assistant Undersecretary for Joint Municipal Services, representing the Works Ministry. The Assistant Undersecretary for Housing Projects, representing the Housing Ministry. The Director of Privatization and Outsourcing, representing the Ministry of Finance, a representative from the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister. The membership in the committee will be for a term of three years renewable. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the United States Secretary of State Michael Pompeo. During the call, the long-standing strategic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States were discussed in addition to the ongoing efforts to preserve stability in the region, defeat terrorism and combat extremism. The call also touched upon recent developments in the region and stressed the importance of maintaining peace and security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Ambassador of Italy, Domenico Bilato at Rafa Palace to mark the end of the Ambassador's service in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the strength of ties between Bahrain and Italy across various sectors, which have facilitated a wide range of investment opportunities benefiting both countries. He recognized the Ambassador's efforts in further enhancing bilateral relations and wished him success in his future endeavors. A number of regional and international topics of common interest were also discussed during the meeting. For his part, Bilato expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and noted His Royal Highness's continued support to bolstering Bahraini-Italy relations. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. 
The Shura Council held its weekly meeting presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh where it approved a draft law on Bahrain's joining the UN agreement on using electronic communications in international contracts. The Council approved a draft law amending paragraph 1 of Article 8 of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Charter. A draft law ratifying an agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Brazil on air services has also been approved. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Zayani, signed an agreement with Sirabco, Bahrain, to establish an exhibition and convention center in Sakhir. The exhibition center will contain 10 halls and the convention center will include three conference halls of varying size. The project will be completed within 24 months. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain condemns the decision of the Republic of Turkey to send military forces to the state of Libya, stressing that this decision is a rejected interference in the internal affairs of Libya and a violation of international legitimacy and relevant Security Council resolutions. It adds that the decision is contrary to the Arab position adopted by the Council of the League of Arab States on December 31, 2019, and impedes efforts to restore peace and stability throughout Libya. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs urges the international community to fulfill its responsibilities in addressing this development, which constitutes a threat to Arab national security and to the entire region. It stresses the need to back all efforts to eliminate terrorism and deter all terrorist organizations in Libya and support international efforts seeking a comprehensive settlement and the restoration of the national state and its institutions in order for it to play its role in achieving development and prosperity for the brotherly Libyan people. The Kingdom of Bahrain is following the development of events in the, rather the brotherly Republic of Iraq that came as a result of the condemned terrorist acts which, he, which the kingdom previously denounced, stressing the need to de-escalate in order to overcome this period and to address all forms of violence, extremism and terrorism. The kingdom also stresses the importance of immediate action to be taken by the international community, affirming the need to take all necessary measures to ensure security and stability in the region because of its vital and strategic importance for the whole world. 